everyone is dr farai again and today we'll be talking about five in one okay i know probably a few of you know what five in one is but i won't take it for granted okay because the most common vaccine is rabies okay a lot of people know about rabies but a few know about five in one and so in this video i'll just run you through what's in five in one or which diseases does five in one protect your dog against okay why is it important because a lot of people go like dog but my dog is big and it's never had any issues why do i need five in one etc okay so what diseases does five in one protect your dog against the first one is parvo we talked about parvo last time and parvo is basically a disease that affects puppies git the heart bone marrow affected and things like that that's the first one parvo okay the second one is canine distemper guys canine distemper can be very nasty okay it will affect your dog you just see your dog wasting away okay it might still be active here and there eating and all but once it reaches the brain it messes up your dog it might see your dog having seizures going a bit crazy and all okay the third one is hepatitis guys this infection is very very bad and i've seen it in a lot of dogs the liver is affected and it's just sickness one-on-one -on -one, okay sickness one-on-one -on -one. literally vomiting diarrhea fever name it okay that's hepatitis okay the fourth one is mostly a respiratory kind of disease where there's like power influenza and they cannot cough and whatnot so it will protect your dog against respiratory diseases which involve coughing or maybe nasal discharge it can be mucus like or watery like basically your dog looks like it's got a flu or it's coffee kind of okay that's the fourth one okay the fifth one is um leptospirosis leptospirosis is a bacteria it's not a virus let's get this straight okay it's a bacteria and why i've said this as the last one why i've mentioned it last is because i want to emphasize that it can be transmitted to you to you as the owner to the family okay so leptospirosis is a bacteria and somehow it ends up in your dog's blood okay and in peeing the dog will actually discharge that bacteria and it can literally infect you on intact skin guys like I don't have any wound when the pee of an infected dog like just drops on me or comes into contact whether i peed on the sand and i step there without uh, like shoes it literally burrows through my skin do you understand that and once you get it trust me you might not know that you have it but one of the most severe severe uh, repercussions is that you can actually be infertile have you ever heard of this guys like you won't have kids because of this bacteria, <laughs> okay? So I'm not trying to scare anyone, but all I'm saying is that the gravity of you not vaccinating your dog is actually bigger than you think. So the dog doesn't have to bite you for you to get this infection, okay? The bacteria finds its way into your body and messes your life up, okay? So that's the fifth one. So the sixth one is coronavirus, not the COVID-19 coronavirus, but this one is also a GIT sign, very similar to PAVO, but different. If you're dealing with a vet, they will know the difference, okay? And you see your dog vomiting, diarrhea, and that's the sixth one. It's an upgrade from five in one, and this particular one is called six in one. The difference between five in one and six in one is that uh, five in one protects your dog against PAVO, hepatitis, okay canine distemper it protects your dog against kennel cough or respiratory disease it protects your dog against um uh what's this what's this leptospirosis okay those are the five the five diseases protected in five in one okay then the six in one other than the five it has coronavirus not the COVID-19. I want to emphasize on that one. It has coronavirus, which makes them six. So a six in one is an upgrade from five in one. Okay. So some dogs will get five in one. Others will get six in one. Either way, your dog is protected against most of the severe, 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 severe uh, uh, diseases here in Zambia. 
okay please please if you have not yet vaccinated your dog again it's five in one please do so please please do so very very important and if you're coming into the country from another country from another continent these are crazy diseases here in zambia and you might want to get your pet vaccinated against those okay bye till next time